a book for print in Adobe InDesign. Um, I just made a video and it got kind of hung up on something, so I stopped it and I'm starting over. Um, we'll see if it works this time. Basically, what I was trying to do is, um, and I'll undo this part. I have this format. I've got a bunch of uh, formatting, book formatting templates on DIYBookFormats.com. Um, and I just want to make a video showing you how to take a template, one of my templates, and add in your own content. So at first, one way to do it is just to go in chapter by chapter and paste all your chapters. But that takes a lot of work. Um, and you may want to do it faster. So this time I'm just going to try to paste my whole book from my Word document. I just want to select all, copy, paste, um, and I'm going to try to paste it in this template so that I can work with it. I'm going to ignore these first few chapters. There's a, there's a way of uh, finding the organization so that you can just skip around, but I'm, I'm just going to use the mouse and scroll through. So it goes down to the epilogue. This is all just dummy text, like basic Latin stuff. Um, so it's there, but it's not, I mean, obviously it's not done. You've just got to paste in your own text. So this is a chapter that I had pasted in already. Um, I'm going to try to paste in the whole book in a new section. So I'm just going to go down here to the end of this chapter here and try to paste in the rest of the book. And what's probably going to happen, if I just click and add it, it's going to try to add a new text box. I don't want to do that. Oops. Ah, I realize what the problem is. Um, so I had a bunch of text on my cursor already, which is something that happens in, in InDesign. So I just took it off so that I can use my regular cursor, which looks like this. I'll just put it where I want the new text to be, and I'll just use Control-V for paste, and I'll paste in my book. Um, so what's going to happen now is I've, I've pasting the whole thing in just a normal style. This is my character style, my my character style and paragraph style. So here, like preface, that's the chapter um, title for the first section of the book. So it should look like this. But to get it to look like that, I have to use the chapter title um, setting. And these are settings that we can change. If I want to, for example, change this text to another font, I have thousands of fonts, um, but for example, I'll change it to something like that. Oops. And then if I wanted to update this style to use that font, I would go over here to paragraph styles. I would click on this little button. I'd do redefine style, and that would change this chapter one, chapter title, um, style for every instance. So this is similar to using styles in Microsoft Word. Um, you can redefine them, you can change them, and you should because they should match your book cover. So here's my preface, and what I would want to do here is just choose the chapter style that I was just using, chapter title, and it looks like that. Um, and then for this first paragraph, I would use my first paragraph style that I've already set up, and it would look like that. Now it's pretty easy to do. Um, these styles I've already set up in all my InDesign formats that are on DIYBookFormats.com. Um, so really all you have to do is paste in your text, um, change the styles if you want, change the fonts to match your book cover or your genre, which is really important. But basically keep the rest of it the same. The rest of it's just going to look like this. This is normal normal text um, and you could change the size if you wanted you could change the line height um, and you just have to remember to go to redefine style 
to make sure that everything is um, matching, is the same. But I'm not going to do that right now. So I'll undo that and go back. There's also a shortcut, which is just, I think it's control Z, which is back. So if you need to do a lot of undos, you can just keep hitting control Z till you go back where you want it. Um, this first paragraph is okay. The other thing I really have to show you is that what's gonna happen when you paste in a lot of text um, is that this paragraph, this um, template only has 60 pages, but my book has a lot more pages than that. So what happened is, I ran out of room at the end of this. And so it shows me this little red box with a plus in it. If I click on the red box, I get all this text, the whole text that's uh, that's left over. Let me see what that's called. Um, overset text. So it's a whole bunch of overset text and it's just showing up on my cursor here and when i click again it's going to be pasted in but i want it to automatically add pages for all of that overflow text so what i have to do is hold down shift to get that arrow to look kind of wobbly and this is where it didn't work last time but we'll try again um, and i'm going to click here and it should add pages for all of the text so it's auto flowing the text We'll see how well that works. So it almost worked. There's a little bit of a overlap down here, um, but the rest of it looks fine. To avoid that overlap, what I should have done is added a new page first. I would have just gone to pages. Oops. And I'd, let's see, I'd go here, I'd click on this, I'd say insert pages. I could have just added a couple more pages and then added that all that overflow text to the next page. That would make sure I didn't get this, this overlapping. Um, but otherwise, the rest of it looks good. It added, oops. Ah, hold on. So my pages window, which I just screwed up a little bit, um, looks like this. Now I have 450 pages. So that's the whole book, which is kind of nice and it goes all the way down. Um, so that's how I would copy and paste my whole manuscript in, but then I have to go through and add all the styles to all the chapters. So what I would have to do is, I did this preface, I would scroll down to the next chapter. And there's little things like this. Um, these are the dividers, so I would want to set a style for the divider sections um, and clean that up. I'd go down to the end of this chapter. There's another divider. I could search and replace later. Um, and I probably have some styles that work. Like this is a centered quote that probably looks fine. I just make sure to use the same style. So here's where the next chapter starts. Um, and I would just highlight this. I would choose my chapter title. I would highlight this first paragraph and set the first paragraph style. In Word, I would put the cursor here and I would do a, um, a page break. Uh, in InDesign, I'm sure there's a way to do that too or something similar. For now, I'm just gonna use the return button, the enter button to push this down a little bit. Um, you don't really want this, this space here because what's going to happen is if if I delete or if any of this space gets moved around, then it'll change the height of my of my chapter titles. Um, so there's a way to make the spacing all perfectly uniform, usually by adding a page break and then setting the style 
Um, right now, like instead of hitting three returns, I should have just gone in and looked at this chapter style and changed the before. the space before the text. But that's something you really have to do for um, every chapter, which is why you could just paste in your chapters one by one. But if you have like 50 chapters, that would take a long time. Um, so basically, all you're doing is going through the manuscript and fixing the chapters, chapter one, chapter two, and the paragraphs. Um, mostly everything else should look good. I'm looking for examples of italics because all the italics should have been kept when I copy pasted them. I just don't see any proof yet. Um, I don't use italics that much, I guess. So that's something you'd want to watch out for just to make sure that things are um, copying and pasting the right way. So here's another chapter. I skipped a few, but here's another chapter. I would just hit, whoops, chapter title. This is the first paragraph. I have a first paragraph style that includes a drop cap and everything. So the other thing that is important to use in InDesign, after you've gone through and separated all these chapters, after everything is just the way you want it, then you'd go back and fix the heading and the footing if you have them. Um, in Microsoft Word, these are more flowable. So these will kind of move around. In InDesign, we use master pages. So what I would have to do is find all of my chapter pages. And it, it shows the heading up here because um, it's set for a master page that's the I master. I have two master pages. One is the regular one, regular pages with the, the headings and the numbers. And the other one is just a blank one that I use on my chapter headings or the beginning, the front matter, the back matter, stuff like that. So I'd go to this page, which is a new chapter, and I just right click on it and apply master to pages, and I choose my H master. So that way I have a different kind of page, a different style for your chapter pages. You just don't want um, headers or footers, basically. In this particular template, I don't have any footers. I only have the page numbers on the top, but I have other templates where the page numbers are on the bottom and the heading is on the top. You can just choose a template that works for you. Um, and then you do have to go through and find all of the first pages of every chapter and change the master pages. You also want to look out for, you might have some pages um, because I reflowed the text, there might be some pages that are in the middle of the chapter, but they don't have a heading because they're using the wrong master page. So you want to make sure you find those pages as well, just in case they're there um, and change the, them so that they work. And you want to do this really at the last thing, because what's going to happen is if I go and set all my master pages now and then I add a chapter or I change the line height or the text or I change anything in, in my body, um, it'll move everything around, but my master pages don't move around. So you'd have to go through and fix all those master pages again. So it's really the last thing that you want to do. Um, the rest of this guide that might explain things in a little more detail is up here on DIYBookFormats.com. I have a guide with pictures talking about how to do this stuff. And I also have some free templates that you can download, um, free book formatting templates that you can download. It is a little tricky. InDesign is complicated. If you want to learn um, everything, there are probably other guides on YouTube that can give you more details if you get stuck on a specific issue. Um, but I just wanted to make a video showing you how to use one of my templates and paste in your own text and edit it so that it looks good. You can also um, save as a PDF or export as an EPUB. The problem usually with exporting as an EPUB from InDesign is that it embeds the fonts for the body. And your body fonts, you don't really want to embed fonts. You want it to be... Um, 
set for a simple serif font so that anybody's device can read it without changing the style. Ebooks have to be kind of simpler. I'll make another video talking more about that. Thanks. Bye-bye.